All right, we are back for battle number 11 versus OPEX. Um, as you can see, right, I, we're we're bringing some we're bringing some heat this week. Um, basically on team preview, um, the the main threats are Tyranitar, Tapu Bulu, Keldeo, and like weakness policy Metagross. Excadrill's a little bit of a problem. Uh, especially if it's a mold breaker, but we have outs to that, I think, um, which you'll see. Uh, so, and uh, looking at the defensive Pokemon, right? Uh, we, you have Bulu, Jirachi, Vaporeon, Shaman, I guess, um, Titar. And, uh, well, when Ferrothorn comes in, Ferrothorn kind of gets to claim a KO. <laughs> um, Banded... Pyro Power Whip is Okoing Titar, Keldeo, uh, Gyro Ball is hitting Bulu hard as well. Body Press is very strong. Um, and Grassy Terrain, Power Whip is also going to be powered up as well. So yeah, this will also be our main like physical pivot. Um, if I see I need to pivot into something to take a physical hit, it'll be Ferrothorn. Um, but these four moves hit everything neutrally to super effectively, so... Pretty pretty happy with it. The the one thing that would kind of be a problem for this set on ironically would be a uh, charge bug, and we have knockoff to knock it off, so it won't be heavy light. But yeah, after that we have Mega Glade, pretty standard Mega Glade set that we brought. Um, we're speed crept for Keldeo, and the idea instead of running CC, we're bringing Drain Punch. The idea is we can SD up on most of the Pokemon. We live a Specs Hydro Pump from Keldeo. Um, so we can SD up and revenge with plus two drain punch and heal most of it back. And we outspeed the entire team. So bar Jirachi, um, which I'm kind of expecting to be scarf and ambi bomb. Uh, and neither of those Pokemon can flinch me because when I mega evolve, I have inner focus and, uh, ambi bomb, I guess can do decent damage, but we can drain punch all that off. Uh, technician tail slap would be a little awkward, especially if they get five hits. So Something to think about. Uh, Krugadel is another uh, defensive set with Intimidate. Pretty standard stuff that we've been bringing. We're high horsepower instead of Earthquake to ignore Grassy Terrain. Uh, Taunt is there to neuter the defensive Pokemon like Vaporeon. Can't click Wish. Um, can't set up Stealth Rocks. Stuff like that. And we have our own Rocks to guarantee that uh, Drain Punch which isn't guaranteed on like zero hp keldeo it's like a roll heavily in my favor south rocks i believe guarantee that i made this team a week ago so <laughs> the sets might be not as good as i'm remembering them but it, in my head it sounds right <laughs> after that we have fizz def rotom um again another physical pivot um this thing hard walls bulu other than stone edge and rock slide and if it's either of those like um we'll take the hit and we'll blow a spit so not too worried um, and we can Volt Switch on the water types. So, and the, their ground type doesn't want to take an overheat. So, that said, Mold Breaker would be a little awkward to deal with. So, I need to be mindful of that. But I am kind of expecting Sand Rush. So, if it's Sand Rush, we should be able to take anything. Um, I believe we take a plus two Rock Slide, not a plus two Stone Edge. That sounds right in my head. We'll calc that before the battle, hopefully. <laughs> Um, after that, we have Savali Grass. Um, in my head, Savali Grass goes in on this team. I hope I'm correct. Um, multi attack with 120 power in grassy terrain uh, is absurdly strong. Uh, we have Poison Fang as well to hit Bulu. Uh, we need to be plus two to KO. It's <laughs> just a little sad to think about. Um, but yeah, and then we have Crunch to hit everything else. So. Yeah, so Wally Grass, I think, is going to be the MVP this game. I think it's going to end up sweeping. Uh, we'll see. Uh, kind of Mega Amphro stops that. So does Charge Bug again. So I need to be mindful of those. But if we can chip them down, it shouldn't be too bad. Then finally, we have Scarfini. Um, it is a much more offensive Scarf than I think I ran in the past. I think I ran much more defensive. Um, and the idea is that we can outspeed everything uh, other than their own Scarfers. Um, I believe this is enough speed to hit Keldeo. Um, I'm not too fussed with hitting Ambipom speed tier. Um, yeah, Scald, uh, Scald punishes Bulu switching in, so that's why we're double water move as well as so we can guarantee hit our moves. And Trick punishes a random defensive Vaporeon switching in, right? 
So, this is the team, um, and we're gonna hop right into the battle. All right, and we are back. Um, kind of the six I expected. Uh, glad there's no Amp Palm or Charger Bug or Mega Ampros, honestly. Um, those are kind of the big three things that stopped uh, Savali Grass from just outright sweeping. So. We need to get Savali into a point where it can get an SD up and potentially chip down Keldeo. I think Rotom's a good lead here. The only thing that, that matches up poorly against is Keldeo, which Tapu Feeding walls. So. like they might have brought the wrong team, potentially. <laughs> this is this is awkward. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're, we're going to lead Rotom. I think Rotom is best lead. Uh, Titar is also a little awkward, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, but we can Volt Switch on it. Ferrothorn goes in. Like, anytime Ferrothorn's in, I basically get to click knockoff for free. Man, knockoff will do a good chunk. Sweet. Uh, I'm just going to get a free Will-O-Wisp. Nothing here wants to get burned. I'm going to double check I live... Stone Edge. Banded Stone Edge. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Excellent. Hit. Please hit. Hmm. This is gonna be one of those battles. <laughs> That's fine. We have a crooked off for this. Um a superpower would be awkward, but I think I'd rather get up rocks. They don't, their, their only hazard removal is drill. And drill can't exactly just switch in on a lot of my Pokemon for free. So we'll get up rocks. Bulu, that's fine. Um, Knocking off here would be really nice, but I'm going to go into Rotom. I think Rotom's the best pivot. Let me double check how much Rotom takes from Banded Stone Edge. Um, 81 to 95. So we live Banded Stone Edge. We don't take two. It's If it's not Banded, we don't take two. So maybe it's better to go into Ferrothorn. We'll go Ferrothorn first. See what they click. Ooh, that's rough. Um, but fair. I took a lot of chip, <laughs> at the very least. Um, dang, I think I kind of have to sack Ferrothorn. Which is not something I want to do this early. We could do something risky by going Tapu Fini. Because like, they would need to click CC again to KO Ferrothorn. Um, and I'm sure Moonblast gets minus two. Bulu? Oh yeah, easily. We're gonna make a risky play. Yeah, Ferrothorn can heal back up with terrain. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we can just Moonblast, I think, relatively freely. Um, if Drill comes in, it's taking Rock's Chip and Moonblast, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, draw should be a little annoying, but we can go to Crocodile. Scald isn't getting this, right? 
We're hitting minus two speed F. Scald's doing 41. No, we'll just Moonblast. That's fine. And now we can't clear body it, but we can go into Rotom. This thing doesn't get anything to touch Rotom. I guess Zen Headbutt would be a little annoying, but I don't mind that too much. We'll go Rotom and we will Volt Switch, I think. Very nice. Ooh, that attack boost is actually a little awkward. I think I kind of need to overheat it now. I think overheat's fine because we can crocodile in on whatever switch is in. Like an awkward switch in would be T-Tar, which is kind of what I expect, but we that's just a free crocodile switch in. So we'll do that. Crocodile doesn't really have anything to touch Bulu, so Bulu's kind of just always invited in. That's fine. Get some chip off. Will Wisp is probably better, actually. I think overheating there was a misplay. Like, that still punished the Metagross staying in. And it punished whatever he switched into. I think that was a misplay. But it's fine. Uh, we can go to Crookedal. Like, super the only thing this has, and at minus one, it's still not the end of the world. I don't think knockoff into high horsepower gets Bulu. So I'm going to make an aggressive switch. I really want to go Gallade here. We'll just knock off. Cool. I will take that. That to 50%. Jeez. Um, and Excadrill cannot KO me, I believe. I think I'm guaranteed to live everything, yeah. Now that it doesn't have an item. So, I'm gonna take the KO. Said, <laughs> guaranteed to live everything. Earthquake is now a roll. Um, Ironhead did 46. Is that adamant? Can that be adamant? That could be adamant. Um, it's a 50% chance to KO me, it looks like. If he's adamant. If she's adamant, excuse me. If she's Ironhead. Or if she's uh, Jolly, it's... Garen, it's a 1% chance to KO. About. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Kruk. Alright. Um, losing HP on Krukadal is a little awkward, because Scarf Jirachi could be in the back. I'm expecting a bullet punch. I wish I was boots on Rotom. We know it's not weakness policy. So I think knockoff is the best play. Yeah, that's fine. We can now go into Rotom and we can will wisp and hopefully connect this one. Fingers crossed. We just need to chip down Jirachi, and I think Silvali can win. We need to chip down a lot. But nice. Willow's connected. And we are guaranteed faster. Or we, we've been revealed as faster. So, I will just Volt Switch. And I think we can go Gallade, honestly. I don't think this thing has much to touch me. That's something that can touch me, yeah. <laughs> um, That's unfortunate, but... We can... Pretty freely Drain Punch, I think. Does Drain Punch into Knockoff get... Metagross. I would think it does at this range after it takes Rock Chip. Yeah, easily. That easily gets it. If it's no bulk, actually. I think I'm fine taking that. Bulu can't switch in. Keldeo can't switch in. <laughs> I 
And we need HP so that way Keldeo can't revenge us. So Drain Punch is the right play. Okay, that's fine. We'll be healing it all off. Most of it off. Uh, and we can Poison Jab. I really need Jirachi to come in so we can chip that. You're really nice if you just brought in Jirachi randomly. <laughs> to be fair, like, hard Jirachi here is a fantastic play, I think. But no. Uh, we can't stay in versus Metagross or... Can we stay in versus... We can, we can stay in versus Jirachi, right? Because we can't be flinched. Ironhead's only doing 29. How much is, uh... What's well, that? It's not offensive. How much is offensive Zen Headbutt doing? That'd be the strongest move to hit me. It's the same as Ironhead, of course. 36 to 43. So yeah, if Jirachi comes in, we're just gonna knock off that. If Metagross comes out, we'll switch. Keldeo, I think it's better to Drain Punch it. And Titar, it's definitely better to Drain Punch it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pivot. I want to keep Glade out of flinching move range from Jirachi. I think that's the best play for me. And I think at this point, I don't need Tapu Fini. We can't go Rotom because that just lets Titar in. And I would like to keep Rotom healthy for Jirachi. Maybe it's better to go Ferrothorn actually. I don't think Ferrothorn's doing much. You can't really heal on anything left. Like, Metagross is the one thing you could heal on, but I think getting the chip to put it in range of knockoff is better. So yeah, well, let's sack Ferrothorn. That's not in range, but it's close enough, I think. 66, 72. That is definitely not in range on Fort. Oh, we can go into Rotom. All right, we got we got a spicy play here. We're gonna Volt Switch as Titar comes in. Nice. And we can go into Gallade. And we can Sword Stance up. Is Hold on, is... How much is plus two Drain Punch doing to Metagross? It's not KOing. I think we have to Drain Punch into Knockoff. It's a little unfortunate. If Drain Punch were doing just a teeny bit more, we could get away with Swords Dancing, but it's not a guaranteed KO on no bulk Metagross. So we'll Drain Punch and a knockoff to get the KO. Bullet Punch won't be the best, but it's not the end of the world. And the Drain Punch should keep us out of range of Jirachi Flinchy moves. Very nice.
Nice. How much does that do? The 34? Yeah, it's not KOing. But knockoff is, so we'll go for knockoff. And we live bullet punch plus toxic plus rocks, I believe. But we will be in range of flinchy move, which is a little unfortunate. Okay, perfect. And we're out of... No, we're not out of range of flinchy move. I forgot about Sandstorm. Ooh. Hmm. If Drachi comes out, I think I have to go Feeny. We're gonna scout to see if this is Scarf or not. This thing coming out makes me think it's Scarf, but it's not. So we're healing it back decently. Hmm. It's a little unfortunate. But we can go into Feeny and click. Ooh, I want to click Hydro. Is that Tapu Fini Hydro Pump range? Versus Keldeo. <laughs> no, that's not. It's old Moonblast. Dang, that CC on Ferrothorn early game was huge. Kind of failed to consider that. All right, and the flinching monster is here. Um, can Rotom take two after rocks? Pretty easily, yeah. So we're gonna Rotom. Very, very nice, okay. And we have to Pain Split. I think Pain Split's the only play here. And we should heal on T-Tar. <laughs> I don't think there's a way that we don't heal off of T-Tar cell. And we're faster, so we can just Volt Switch into... Honestly, Savali. We need to make sure that Rotom is always above 30%, uh, 31, no, 32%. So that way we can effectively heal off the damage from Iron Head with leftovers. Iron Head plus rocks with leftovers. Oh, it's not Scarf. That changes things a little bit. Interesting. Is it max speed? I think either way I need to go into Feeny to soften this up for Silvali. Scald's doing 33 to no bulk. And we need it to be at around 80% for no bulk. So yeah, we'll go into Feeny. And we'll click Scald. Really wish I was Surf. <laughs> surf would have been clutch. Uh, scald to 25, which means it is bulky, I believe. I just looked at the calc, but I'm already forgetting. Yes, it is very bulky, which means it's probably not max speed. Um, and so I should have speed. All right, that's out of range for Savali as well, because it's bulky. So we're gonna Sword Stance up and Savali should just be bulky enough to live everything from Jirachi at this point. If it's faster, then we're in a bad position. It's 
So maybe crunching and trying to get a crit is better. <laughs> I hate that I'm saying that. But no, we'll, we'll Swords Dance. I think Swords Dance is the optimal play here. So Wally Fighting would have been really good for this late game. Like, Fighting Move would hit Jirachi and Titar. Although, Titar is slower, so it's not that big of a deal. The strongest thing this has to hit me is U-turn, I believe, which is only doing 40%. So it would just be flinched faster, Jirachi flinch hacks would be the only issue that I see. But based off of this thing's bulk, yeah, I'm not expecting it to be faster than us. Very, very nice. And we should be able to just clean up. My crit did not matter. <laughs> I promise. Whew. Dang, this was a scary, scary match. Um, that close combat caught me off guard. I completely forgot Bulu had close combat, <laughs> to be honest. Really good game. Uh, really good match, Opex. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Whew. Uh, we are 9-2 and two now. I think we're solidly in second place right now, so... Yeah, we're, I think we battle first place next week. Not this week, but next week. So that'll be that'll be hype. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all later. Yeah.